Okay, real time Jaipur tournament. This is Turtler 7 playing against Lacoy. I have a message I need to reply to real fast. I thought there was a message I had to reply to. Does not appear to be there. Uh, maybe over here. Uh. Now I can go back to my game. Okay, so he got a couple of silver. I can put a few of the camels back and get these first bonuses, potentially. Or I can trade up. In fact, I'm going to trade up to go all in on one type. As opposed to splitting a little bit of everything. can't do anything about that. I need to get these out of my hand instead. I don't mind taking more camels. I like the in and out. That was unfortunate for me. That'll give him the first sales bonus on diamonds. Potentially gold too since he already picked up a gold. But it does mean I have access to all kinds of good stuff. I'm going to sell these silver now and grab all of this in a row. I don't think he has any ability to do any trading. He's got to sell stuff from his hand. Now when it comes time to actually do something here, I will either trade a leather in or just sell this one and let him take the camels. But if he sells one more time, I'll take the camels. No problem for me. He's doing really well on these high-end grabs. So I'm going to have to do really well on my large stack sales. Interesting. Close your browser and restart the whole thing. I'm just going to take the one card. So I'm kind of hoping another leather comes and I don't want to clog my hand. He took that leather, it's only a two point bonus, but since I don't have any access to it right now, I'm just going to get this unclogging my hand and try to go for a large stack of one of the other types. I need a little bit of luck here to catch up since he's got so many high ends this round. I'm going to delay by selling the one I have the least of left in the game because I'm more likely to get a big stack of those. Speaking of which, there is at least two more of them. I will take these camels if he lets me have a chance. Otherwise, I'm going to sell my silver. I will take all of these camels then if he's going to give me that chance. A diamond for him, possibly another spice for me if he leaves it on the table. He left that spice on the table for me, so I will take it. Now, I am going to hold out for one more here. Uh, let me double check what he's got. I believe there was a diamond in there, wasn't there? So he's got a diamond. I don't know what else he's got. 
He's at least got a diamond, so I can not get caught out of this game. I only have five camels, so I can lose that camel bonus pretty easily, too. Okay, here's the thing. If I just take this gold, I risk him taking all of these. I need to get at least all three of these not in the center at the same time. That way I can sell both my diamonds and my stack of spices. Or I'm going to be sitting with a lot of stuff in hand and no ability to trade it. Now he's got the camel bonus. He gets to take whatever he wants from the center, probably these three cloth. To prepare to sell next time. I could take this camel bonus back instead, but this is a better trade for me. Five point bonus, eight points for the sale, should put me in the lead. All those high ends he started with don't look like much of an advantage by the end when I've got two four stack sales and two three stack sales. I promise you that's the more important part of this game is having large stacks. Now never prioritize stacks over the high ends unless it's a really unique situation. But don't underestimate the ability to just keep trading for more stuff. Now this is a unique situation. I can get three of these or four of those. I can only trade in three camels. But I can trade this leather in. And I can just have both of these big stacks. The real question is do I try to sell the cloth or the spice first. The spice would free up my hand. Ooh. I can't leave three high ends in the center. So what I'm going to do is actually break both of my stacks a little bit. That way I can at least get the first sales bonus, if nothing else. Since he did that, I can sell these silver and try to reclaim some of these big stacks I had. And he's going to let me. I want the big stack more than the other type. I really want that spice there. Most likely by selling this I'm going to bait him to grab that single spice. Or to trade in for more than just the spice. He didn't. That was a huge mistake. That might actually end up giving me a second round win to finish this game early. I'm going to unclog my hand right now and hope he trades in a bunch of camels. He did not. Now he has to sell those two leather or take this diamond. By taking the diamond, he lets me get the first sale bonus, unless it flips me another high end that I need to prioritize. Flips him another high end, too. We're just going to keep doing that until one of us sells leather. Um, he's only got two of them, I think. So I don't mind letting him have a third. I'm going to get that four-point bonus for me instead of him. It's like an eight-point swing in the game. He is probably going to claim this leather. And I'm going to claim the other one and force him to sell right now. Or take that gold and let me sell. Taking another three points away from him and towards me. I'd like to be doing more with my turns, but at least I've damaged his big stack. I'd like to take that leather away from him, but he's got seven cards in hand. So he's going to have to sell something to make room for it, and then I can grab it. I'm not going to bother selling it for the two-point bonus. It's just not worth it. Especially if he's already done that. Kind of looks like he's just going to sit on those camels. He really should trade for all three of these silk right now. Nicely done, buddy. I'm going to flip these camels while I have a chance. Force you not to be able to sell that silk. He can upgrade all of these. With two camels and one other card from hand. Forcing me to use a cloth. Interesting. Well, he doesn't have enough room to pick up the silver and didn't prioritize it. So I can just sell the one cloth. He does have four of them. He's got one more than that's left to sell. He should do that right now. I can sell out the diamonds right now. 
And if I grab what's in the center, I'll also be able to sell out the spice. I'm going to try to end this round a little early while he's still searching for gold. More likely, he's going to take these five camels, and I'm going to trade back into the center. Mm, tough call. I could actually trade this silver in and get another possible two-point bonus there. That's what I'm going to do. Well, time to just empty the stacks. This right here is two points plus one to three, so the gold is better for me. I'm just going to sell the gold. Pretty sure he has to grab stuff. That's not enough camels for me to get a token back, so... Time to see whether he got it. I had a really nice start to the round, but didn't finish so well. Final round. Here we go. I have access to lots of stuff with two camels, but I'm going to take the other three. Now he has access to two gold. But he's going to have to put at least one card from hand back to get them both. And that'll let me take all three of these. Most likely he's going to go ahead and sell those gold right now, which will let me take all five camels, which I am more than happy to do, because he can barely take anything from the center. He has to put two cards back to take these diamonds, which will let me grab the cards that most match what I've got. I have six in hand, so I have to put a leather back to grab these. But now I have a four stack. Him getting both diamonds and gold were not good trades for me, but there's no way I could know that was the exact way it was going to happen. He doesn't have the ability to grab more than two of those silks, and I can still get the first sale bonus. Or if he leaves them there, I can grab all four of them. He left them there. He had a diamond in hand. That's nice. So this is now a four stack of spice for me on first sale and a five stack of that on the first sale. That is the best case scenario for me to try to match his high ends with two and three. I mean those were spectacular. This will be a good example game to show the difference between those. I'm gonna let him sell those leather or take the camel. I can trade him for two more things. Or I can let him get his hand unclogged so he can barely hold stuff. Well, I mean, he has a couple camels left, but not much. Just the two. He only has one card he can sell with his leather. He can't sell that diamond. So I'm going to force him to take these five by just delaying the game. He has nothing he can do except take all five camels and let me have access to my choice of things. I am just going to take the two so I have access to grab one more in my current hand size. That way whatever he grabs I can potentially hold more. He has enough trade value to take all of those which is a big blow. It forces me to sell the gold because he has two in hand right now and I don't want him to get full value. Now he can only get five points out of those two cards. And he did that right away. I'm going to take these camels and try to hold them for the bonus token now. And I'm never going to touch camels again because there's so many silver left in this match. I will take this one though because it's a three point bonus on top of whatever I had there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have enough to put two camels back into the middle. There are so many silver left that I'm going to force him to grab these. Then I can put all of these things back. Three silver and one diamond. I mean, I lost a four stack, but I made a four stack of silver, which have a value of five each. 
and I still have the camel bonus token. So there's nothing he can do to stop my victory now. Forcing that camel grab is all that I needed to do. Now, he didn't take any of these yet. So I might be able to grab one more and sell that full three stack still. He has at least a leather in hand, I think. So I'm just going to get what trade value I can and let the round end for a good game. Should be about 60-something for him. Yep, 61. Not even close. Very good. And you'll note that was the round where he started with like three diamonds and two gold. Looked like he was going to be way up, but I got both five stacks in the low end. And then at the end of the game, I used those camels I'd been hoarding to force him to give me a bunch of silver since they hadn't flipped. No way I could tell that was going to happen. No way I could tell that grabbing those cables early were going to give him those two and three stacks with first sale bonus. But getting the five stacks I could guarantee, and that was more than enough to put me way up in the lead.